This is Oh No, It's Alex's video on Power World Derangement Syndrome. I've seen this pop up in my algorithm and I've seen Alex pop up a couple of times with other videos and I decided, you know what, today will be the day I check out this video because I've honestly been enjoying all of this Power World's, I'll say, the allegations and everything. It's hilarious, man. It's just, it's just funny to see this whole system almost like I don't know, man, the game that people are trying to run on people, but I forgot who said it best, that these are tourists in gaming and not actual gamers that are getting offended. I'm just going to say it, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy the video, firstly, show all the support to Alex. This is edited and done by him over there. So yeah, I'm... But if you guys like my commentary over it, you know, show some support down below. Let's hop into this. Dude, all of the stuff surrounding Power Worlds has literally been just so weird. I di I've been playing, you know, I've been having a great time. I didn't, I still didn't know when I came across the Mercs that you can capture the mercs and put them to work, like the mercenaries or the thugs or the random street dudes that you come across in the game, right? But what has me weak about that is the last video I watched on this by Rev Says Desu, where they pointed out the animal cruelty before the literal enslavement of the actual humanoid characters. It's so weird, man. These... It's like, it's like a mass psychosis. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what Alex got for us. By the way, Alex, if you want me to take down my video, I do not mind. Let's go. Let's get this. Ah. Oh, it's on my, it's, it's on my speakers. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Now we have had an insane 72 hours, especially over the past weekend and even at the time of this recording about the insanity known as Pal World. Things mm -hmm. have been going rather, let's say, pretty good for the actual developers of that game because they have now set to 5 million copies sold on Steam alone that is just insane. for this game and even hitting a peak of over a million concurrent players. So I'm sure you would think to yourself, wow, that's amazing. And any developer has found a niche that is not being satiated by other major developers or publishers. They've created a video game. It is now being successful because it is offering a product that people actually want. What else could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, there's no way there would be rampant amounts of jealousy, insane accusations, and everything else in the uh, game developer world happening on Twitter now, would there? <laughs> It's exactly that. It's literally exactly that. People are going insane for this game. In fact, uh, Gene Park, gotta love the guy, he coined it um, Pal World Derangement Syndrome. So I stole mm. that. I plagiarized that one, Gene. <laughs> but what's cool is you still gave credit like a lot of people don't do. Whoa, pause that 111. There's an angel number for y'all. So th that was pretty cool. It's gonna be a good video. <laughs> And you see, the reason why I made that joke about taking the title for this video from Gene Park is very simple. The allegations, right? The Pokemon. <laughs> there have been major accusations. <laughs> yeah. Everything from the developers of Power World using AI, which you now yep. have to disclose whether or not you've used AI. Wow, this was not in Rev's video. What? It, well, not not to say that it had to be, but what you... Whoa, what is this? AI in your game to Valve, which really just kind of debunks that entire thing. What? Close whether or not you've used. I knew as soon as I seen it, Valve opens the door to more Steam games developed with AI. Under new rules, developers will have to disclose their use of technology. Valve says the change means it could, it should be able to release the vast majority of games that use AI. Wow. AI in your game to Valve, which really just kind of debunks that entire thing the fact that the c wow wait but when did that start that that was recent wait 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 i which you now have to disclose whether or not you've used ai in your game to valve january 10th 2024 okay let me see when power worlds drop real quick yeah it was the 19th that's right <clears throat> a few days ago 
damn, nine days after this post was made. Well, when did Valve? Well, I don't know if this article is literally right when they declared that this that you would have to do this, but I mean, I suppose when you're developing a game and you're in your own field, would you be aware of a change like this that was altered on Steam this like this early? Like, would you be even be paying attention to that? And if so, right, that begs the question, would they have used AI? And now that this got released, they technically used it before this got announced. I'm kind of confused a little bit, but I'm with, but yeah, this, this is like a funny look for people who are claiming that they used AI in games. Cause it's like, well, if they are paying attention and especially if they know the game is going to be like the creatures in the game let's say because the game is not like pokemon ah, i don't want to say too much but you know the the look of the creatures right you know i would assume that if they knew that the creatures were gonna and some of the creatures are an upgrade are gonna look like the ones from pokemon they would be being careful so i would assume they would know something about this and if that's the case then yeah this just debunks everyone saying that they used ai but you know, yeah. which really just kind of debunks that entire thing. Yeah. The fact that the CEO was talking about using chat GPT and previous things, but every CEO has actually done that. So I don't really understand this. And now the major allegations that Pal World has been basically just stealing content and stealing assets and things like that. And just making an asset flip from Pokemon, even though if you've played the game, you would see there's more Elden Ring and Breath of the Wild in there. And I've only played the game for a few minutes and even I caught that, but hey. Yeah, I don't know about Elden Ring, I guess for open world purposes and maybe like, I guess some of the bosses, like the world bosses walking around, but I feel like that's, maybe it's inspired from that, but also the Breath of the Wild and their old game Craftopia for real, like that just sort of, like that sort of, is it Japanese open world type of game? So, uh, so let's do what we best, always yeah. do best. Let's go on Twitter and see what's actually going on and which developers are truly salty about this entire thing. Cause baby, it's a whole other ball game. <laughs> now, Eric Covington posted this recently on Twitter saying to accidentally quote unquote, create a complex model mesh with so near exact proportions. It's practically impossible to repeat that improbability throughout your roster doesn't pass the sniff test through pal world the thing is eric the funniest thing about all of this is that you are the hell is the sniff test like they were like like sniff like something doesn't smell right sort of thing like i'm smelling bs type thing we're taking the most basic things set up for anybody oh i didn't know that uh you couldn't do wolves anymore oh my god lizards lizards they don't pass the sniff test why is it that every single developer in fact uh, here's the funnier part about all of this. You see, Eric used to work for Blizzard and PlayStation. Why are developers all of a sudden getting up in their feelings about the fact that somebody went ahead and copied or had the same style of artwork? Really, it boggles them. It is. It feels like it feels like um, <clears throat> to a sense, I feel like you have to have a your ego is meant to protect you. There's a certain degree your ego that plays a role here, and that's why we're all different. But I feel like this is the type of shit where people have like fragile egos, where it's like you feel offended on behalf of something you're not even involved in. I don't get that. Mine, because Blizzard has been known to literally copy every other type of either genre or game and then provide oh, it as, Blizzard, hey, look, yeah. we did it ourselves. I could just look at Overwatch and Team Fortress 2. <gasps> and you know what the best? Wow, but I didn't think about that. See, yeah, we, I've used to play Team Fortress 2 so much. It, 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 it's like inspiration from another game. But, oh, it's weird. Ah, man. Like, there is a line between, it, like, literal inspiration from another game's game mode, in a sense, and then straight up copying, you know? So it's weird when they forget things like this. Or I don't know, man. I best part about it is too i can just continue with overwatch as well the fact that widowmaker is actually from a guy that's right her her character model what? even her outfit is one to one from a guy 
You're lying, bro. What? This is new news to me. But we're gonna... But we're gonna avoid that one! What? Stop playing? Oh, Alex. No way, bro. What? We're gonna avoid that one, right, my, my boy? Yeah, look, it's... I don't understand. No way, bro. You're going to make me want to go look. This. Every <laughs> game developer, every piece of art nowadays has some sort of thing that they're copying from or getting ideas from. And that's what I was going to say, like inspiration. Like That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But to sit here and to lambast a company just because they decided to take a model or they tried to do something similar or they have some similarities between other games really isn't the road to go down. Everybody has done this. Everybody has going to do this so to sit here and say like oh it doesn't pass this sniff test who are you you are not the arbiter of what should be in the artwork of video games you are literally an ex dev you are sitting here doing nothing and helping no one progress their actual art form instead you're just complaining about a video game that you thought you should have worked on but but didn't yeah that's almost like what some of this exposes in people like i don't even get like there could be deeper and other you know nuanced points of views on why these people are coming out and defending it so hard some could really feel just personally attacked but then again like just everything i know that has to do with you personally bro which is again what um alex is saying here it, that has to do like it has to come from something rooted within them and then it looks bad too that you're like it's an ex-dev because then it's just like, exactly what are you trying to do here? What are you trying to do here? Because then you like, you allow a lot of assumptions to be made about what you are doing here or why you are commenting on this thing. And it's just like, just enjoy your life. I'm, I, do, do, do some developers, I'm assuming like an ex blizzard dev, have they made a lot of money? I'm sure you're fine, right? I don't know. I don't want to speak too much on, on people I don't know. It's just like, but what I would always speak on is that you expose yourself in a certain way. And I just ask if it's worth, is it worth it? But luckily for Mr. Covington over here, there's a lot of people who agree with that side of like all the allegations that are coming out. Uh, Rev says Des or Rev Desu. Rev says Desu. One point that they made that I enjoyed was the fact that a lot of people who are enjoying POW worlds are not on Twitter to see this going on or what they believed is like not a lot of the players are actually seeing this. They're just, they bought a game, they're enjoying the game, they go back to their lives, which is great because if they seen this shit, it's like crazy. It's wild. That theme continues throughout the video. T. Hallams yeah. says, I am the exact opposite of a Nintendo stan or AKA ARC slash wildcard stan, but seeing Pal World make tens of millions of dollars off of the most blatantly creatively bankrupt, poorly put together asset flip game is so depressing. So like, again, oh, I actually captured one of those. The This image right here, and I didn't even know that was the creature it was based off. That's like a total re reimagining though. I tried to scroll down like I'm actually on his Twitter right now. But I'm the exact... See, when you have to point this out first, in certain... Certain... Depending on the top, like the thing you're talking about. Doing this is okay. But that is what I'm saying with the last developer is strange to me. I don't know if this dude's a developer. I guess they're an editor, writer, software engineer. Okay is like this. I'm the exact opposite of a Nintendo stand. But Power World making millions of dollars off of blatantly ripping up. So you are a Nintendo stand. <laughs> I don't know how you, that also feels weird sometimes, depending on unless the person is blatantly a, and even then because of my own perspective on life and on reality being a game itself, it really has to be specific for me, but I can understand how you go at someone who is like maybe someone who's gained a lot of attention in, in something and is actually like a poor human being, but you still, I feel like you still got to give them credit for what they've done, but you, th that doesn't mean they're protected from criticism, right? And that's what I mean here is what, what I'm basically going on to say is I think 
it's weird that people are upset at Pal World's success. And they do not seem like bad developers or have any bad intent where I know I'm bringing this to that discussion where there's like, well, like, but look over here, but it kind of feels like that for me where it's like out of everything to get mad at, you're mad at a game genuinely trying to deliver a good experience for people when games today are not trying to do that, which this goes into the whole black rock. I'm not even going to get in there and force behavior stuff where it's like, it's like, but a game where the character models look like another, like Pokemon is absolutely tilting people. I don't know, man. I don't know. Their entire company strategy seems to be theft, but he continues. There's more. It isn't even just a stolen or quote unquote borrowed content either. The game is comprised of the UE5 default assets and barely functional animations. The entire thing just reeks of quote, pump this game out and make some quick millions before it dies off. He still keeps going. This Jesus, I don't like morally fault anyone for playing it, obviously. The, un the unus is on the studio. But man, I can't even imagine anything more deeply depressing for the industry perspective game devs than this. Why pour your heart and soul into something you can just steal and win? When you can just steal and win? I'm not even some IP purist or anything. There it goes again. That That's what I mean. That right there. I know he's going to read it, but that right there. I'm not a Nintendo stand or anything. Next. I'm not an IP purist or anything, but many of the world's games started with extreme inspiration from existing games. But they ruled and succeeded because something... I will see what he says. Or this, what this is going to get good. I don't like fault anyone for playing exactly it obviously that. I don't well that like... just negates your entire argument altogether because we'll get to that the onus is on the studio but man i can't imagine anything more deeply depressing for industry slash perspective game devs than this why pour your heart and then that too how can you say like sorry that i keep pausing it's just this is how i transform things plus i just got a lot to say with what alex has found and discovered but all work goes to him discovered getting these tweets, bro. I would lose my mind researching this stuff. But um, that, how can you say that some, why pour your heart and soul into something when you could just steal and win? How are you saying that they're not pouring their heart and world into building a world like Craftopia, which seems like inspired their next world for this world. And then all of the things within the game, like the design, changing the designs and all that, because that still takes work. And I, even like I agree with some of the people that have been saying some of the pals in the world, even though they're inspired off of the Pokemon designs, are upgrades to some of the creatures. And soul and how is something when you could just say steal and win. The tirade, of course, continues. I'm not even some IP purist or anything. Many of the world's games started with extreme, quote, inspiration from existing games. But they ruled and succeeded because they took that and did something with it. Tried something new, poured some additional soul into it. There is nothing here. And you know what? This entire thing right here just goes to show that so many people live in their own. All right with it tried something new poured some additional soul into it there is nothing here and you know what this entire thing right here just goes to show that so many people live in their own fucking world that do not understand what actual consumers want there is a gap in the market that nintendo is clearly leaving and letting sit by while doing nothing to satiate that market here come the Power World devs, and they said, hold on, there's Breath of the Wild, there's Elden Ring, there's Pokemon, there's Fortnite, there's Ark, there's all these games that we can pull from. There's even Valheim that we can say, hey, look, here are these mechanics and here are these ideas. Why don't we figure some way of putting all of these things together so that way provides the actual person who wants to play a game like this all the things that they want because nobody else is fucking doing this. The thing you want them to do is the exact same thing that they are fucking doing and you're angry about it. How, how does this make any fucking sense 
whatsoever. It's really the most ridiculous thing. The only reason you're angry about it is because of the fact that somebody else didn't do it before them, or the fact that they made some really odd comments, or the other game that they made didn't do well, or was left by the dust. It's an early access game. Everybody knows the risk of an early access game. The difference is though, the Power World devs finally figured something out and are sitting here saying, we need to satiate this market. Here's how we're gonna do it. Here's the way it's gonna be done. Who says they're not putting their heart and soul? Exactly. Who says they're not putting their heart and soul into it? That like that that can't be deemed by somebody else. Into this. You can't. You can't. What came down and let you know that they were? Because literally, you can look at any uh, other anime or any other game or any other sort of media and realize, wow, this copied this and this copied that yeah. and that copied that. Whether they put their own twist on it or not. That's the thing people don't understand. This isn't some like moral high ground that you can take exactly. about anything. Developers literally pull ideas from other developers and then they use those ideas and they'll twist it into whatever way they want or they'll add to it and do things like that. See, someone said this and I, and I like it. It's not who started it, it's who does it the best, right? And that's not a bad thing because also giving credit, I feel like that's a big thing too. Like even with videos that I do this when people send me videos to watch, it's like, just give credit to the original creator and twist it as much as you can. And it's just about being creators. Like we all get inspiration from each other. It doesn't have to, I don't know, man. People are weird, bro. Like this is what I mean. This, this, I swear to goodness gracious, it is a fucking psyop. But nobody calls them out then. All of a sudden, Power World does it and now, and now we have it's a problem. A problem. Acerola says, Power World's overwhelming success is the first step in the normalization of generative AI slop games, which is really, really depressing. 10 years ago, an asset flip game like this would have been relentlessly ridiculed, lol. I love the fact that people are sitting here claiming that Power World is using AI and it is a slop kind of game. This is what people don't truly understand why Power World is taking off. If it uses AI, fine. If it's a slop right. game, fine but the thing is it is satiating a market that has not been touched that people have not looked at. and again look at the general consensus of the people who are playing it they are enjoying it they are having fun people i feel like people do not want people to have an experience anymore it is a literal game where you have guns against pals which they are their own thing so yes pokemon with guns everyone is nabbing that title and titling that their videos i think i may have to because literally i need mean, look at the game but you know it hurts to do things like this it hurts because it feels like you're literally trying to explain this to not even children children would enjoy this game it's like you're it's like grown children <laughs> That, that companies choose to fucking ignore consistently and that is why it is successful but you know what it continues for you and it gets even worse for you my boy fyi there are no rules or regulations with ai there is no law requiring its use be divulged it is entirely possible to use ai and then hide it well enough that no one would ever know and that is a future rapidly approaching get community noted fuck boy this is false steam requires games to disclose when they wow. contain ai generated content you came you saw you lied you got exposed that is one of the best the developers are not idiotic saying it's ai would kill the marketing things to see no because yes false this is false steam requires games to disclose when they use ai generated content so they would have to they would have to disclose it is is the is the the, the re-comment under it cope right up front with everybody directly going on but you know what <laughs> my boy thought he did something he thought he was him the developers are not idiotic saying it's ai would kill the marketing of the game i'm gonna i'm gonna shed some light on you all right i'm gonna i'm gonna fix what you're failing to realize you see acerola used to work at ben studio and at intel they were a graphics artist i wonder why they're so upset about the possibility of ai boy oh because the art I see, I do, okay, that's the thing. The things you can do with AI are cool, 
And I don't think it will ever replace the human aspect of art and things like that. But again, people using AI are also the creators. So it's like it only could better thing. Like it's like with the internet. It's like there's a good and a bad to everything. And that I'm just trying to blanket statement the whole thing because AI could be absolutely terrible and absolutely awesome at the same time like a lot of people have seen the internet to be. The internet has changed a lot of people's lives. Creators, this, all of it, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? So many people, so many, like take YouTube for example, like and who just retired, Matt Pack. It's like if this internet didn't exist, YouTube didn't exist, you would never known a creator like him. Markiplier, PewDiePie, all these. So it's like AI is like that, that new thing that comes in. New. I have my feelings about that. But it's this thing that's here now and it's going to do the same thing. Polarize, you know? So. I wonder why. The thing is this. I'm going to give you a hot tip and a hot take. People, ready for this? Regular gamers, regular consumers of products do not care if the game has AI or not. Oh no. <laughs> it just care if it's You see, the thing game. is, you live in a deranged world where you think you are the most important person. You have the what's called main character syndrome. Let's fix that for you right now. You are a graphics artist. If you cannot keep up and you cannot use AI properly to make your art better or provide artwork for people that want to buy your art in the first place, you are going to fall behind and you are going to be devoured by it. Because what AI is going Absolutely. to do is allow other people who do not have the talent that you have to then provide themselves with the ability to make the artwork that they want to make to use in whatever process they want to use. And and exactly, and that's what I say is like, if you're generally, like genuinely, you know how some people say hard work, hard work, hard work beats talent? Well, okay, here's the thing. If you're talented and you work hard and you have your own authentic style, AI can't replace you. It's just, it can't. Even if someone wants an authentic piece from you, AI cannot replace you then. If you want a hand-drawn, beautiful canvas from Acerola here, AI cannot do that. So it's almost like, I guess that, that could be part of it too. See, that's a point of view I didn't even think about. Are people getting offended that AI may replace them because they don't want to put in a or something you've got to step your game up you got, you got to start yeah. using ai as a proper tool i use ai in my tools for editing for video content creation i use it for making my thumbnails i use it for helping me edit i use it for catching things that i missed it is an actual tool that can be used the difference is i'm not sitting here saying oh ai is going to destroy everything and it's going to be the worst thing ever yes there have to be changes to how ai is used yes. and it has to be disclosed which is why valve is doing those specific things but to make these baseless allegations with no evidence whatsoever truly is the real shit my rent is so expensive how can <laughs> shitty part about your behavior but remember everybody it always gets worse Derek <laughs> Bittner says power world success is proof proof everyone that despite protestations most people will cave and use an AI product because of some loophole quote-unquote it's fun it doesn't feel like AI etc it'll be a sad day when this happens on a wide scale for other creative endeavors, books, music, art, it sucks. And you know what? I don't have to say anything about this because friend of the channel, my boy, my man, Gene motherfucking Park had to reply and say this. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you are speaking too decoratively on something that's only speculation at best at this point. Have you actually played the game? Ladies and gentlemen, can we please play rtuexposed.mp4? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. The rest of these three slimes in the trench coat. I think it's simpler than that. A lot of people probably don't even know there's AI involved. More than likely. Exposed. Only reply to people that validate. Exposed. 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 As someone who's only put in <laughs> no. a few minutes into that game, I can already tell there's going to be something that's really going to be hitting with a lot of people that really want this kind of style. 
mixing other different genres, putting them together, and then applying them yeah, to so many other people yeah. truly is something that is really missing in the market. And indie devs yeah. are going to use whatever tools they have in order to make those games because it's not about what you, the developer, wants. See, that's the thing. People don't understand this. Game developers don't get this. It's not about what you want. It's about what the customer wants. There's a movie right. that you should definitely watch, I think, if you're a developer watching this video. Hi. There's a movie called Joe Dirt. And in that movie, Joe Dirt finds an Indian man who's selling fireworks. And what happens is Joe Dirt walks up to that Indian man saying, hey, you got any fireworks for me? The Indian guy goes, yeah, I got snakes and sparklers. Joe Dirt says, why do you only have snakes and sparklers? The Indian man says, well, it's what I like. And Joe Dirt says, no, you see, it's not about what you like. It's about what the customer likes. And I think that's the real problem with all of this. Developers think that it's about them and they have the main character syndrome when they're not realizing it's about what the actual customer wants in their video game. Again, that too though, is it's not so black and white. I will disagree there because when it comes to you making your own game or making your own product, even like him making this channel, it starts off from you. So it is making, like when I make videos, I'm making the videos that I would like to make. Even when people send certain quest for videos it's like well i have to go through the ones that i actually want to do and it's a balance too it's like you should deliver a game that people want that the, the market wants if that's the goal for money then you would be on that mindset all day but if then if it's a more passion project creative again as they're saying heart and soul put into it there needs to be a balance then it does still need to be a game that you would want to play but that should also be at the highest like, like it, it should have high standards. So that means if you have high standards for your game, use every tool possible. Just cutting off tools because of own, your own beliefs or something, something like that, that could hinder you. But then again, I understand that there's multiple perspectives that exist. So I don't think ever, anyone is necessarily completely right or completely wrong. I think there's nuance and there's a gray area in between it. And that too, the analogy he just gave with the Indian man and it's like, no, you're, you know, it's what the customer wants. Well, it's kind of weird that a, that a Indian man um, presented himself as a fireworks dealer anyways, and then is selling sprinklers and sparklers. Because then this would make no sense if that guy wasn't like, what? Like, wait, that, that was weird. It's weird. But yeah, when you have a product that's successful based on something you thought would be successful, the customer is saying like, oh, I want more of this, then you should just deliver on that. You would have an infinite, you have the infinite thing. It's like the whole, the customer is always right thing. That I that mean that would work in your favor. When it comes to art though, like when it comes to this conversation, it is kind of, uh, it's, it's weird because it's like how worlds feel, fills that niche, that, that, that part of the market. But also, it's like, I, th I feel like the, the developers have made a game that they want to play and that it's not just money. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like the, the, this that he said is kind of, yeah, like you can say it's the main character syndrome from some of these people. But also, it's like that is true that you need to be doing the videos you want to do because then you can just be a slave to what people want. And that starts to take away from your own happiness. And I know that he must know this. I'm not saying that you always have to think on the middle. That's just how I, I think. Because I do feel like a lot of this is just straight up madness and jealousy and all that and whatever. And people's egos getting hurt. But then to say that it's just, you know, people having main character syndrome or, you know, I, I see where the other side is coming from where it's like, no, not necessarily, you know, you got to do things that you would want to do, you know? So, I mean, cause he didn't start this YouTube channel for the sake of like, I don't know. I can't make that claim, but it's like not everyone starts a YouTube channel for the sake of I'm going to make videos, particularly for people. Like I'm going to go into this with the mindset that it's a business. I'm going for getting customers and i'm putting out a certain video you know you, you kind of get what i'm saying it's like when you see the youtubers who more who more treat it as a hobby it's like uh, i guess i can give the example of like critical moist critical penguin charlie 
that everyone knows, right? Or if you don't know, but now you know. Where he's making videos on things that he finds that he wants to talk about while also doing the balance where he's talking about things that are relevant at the time that get a lot of attention. So I feel like it's the same for games. It's just a balance. But that's just me. And how those developers make those games to get to that customer is irrelevant as long as the customer enjoys the end product. And that is what everybody is missing. Del Walker says, my gut is telling me Power World was made nefariously. I just have no proof, just dev intuition. No accusations until proof, but let me make this accusation let first me make thing. This accusation. Let's, let's do that. Uh, but there's some hidden malfeasance here, Watson. I can sense it. You know what I can sense? Uh, you're a fucking idiot. That, that's what I can sense. Uh, you are a senior artist at Naughty Dog. Boy, I wonder what game... No. ...just came out right before Pal World and was trying to be hailed as this, like, amazing title to be released. And then all of a sudden, a $30 indie game from a nobody studio shows up and says, You know what? I'm gonna rock your shit. <laughs> I wonder why the senior artist at Naughty Dog is this fucking upset about Power World. It couldn't be the fact that the game they worked on after remaking the game after... No, bro. Remaking the game for a remake that shouldn't have remade in the first place comes out and gets its back completely blown out by a possible asset flip <laughs> that's a pokemon game with elden ring zelda fortnite and, and just valheim all together you worked for years to do that yet these guys show up and said you know what <laughs> i hope you like second place <laughs> clown helion whites is supporting and glorifying plagiarism because quote it tells a massive company to do better is not the heroic flex you think it is no Supporting and glorifying plagiarism because it tells a massive company to do better is not a heroic flash you think it is. That big company will remain untouched and the affected ones by this mass glorification of plagiarism will be the actual creatives instead. So I get that, but they're not glorifying plagiarism. Like saying you like the game. I don't know. Kilian, oh, it literally is. There's not a heroic flex. People are saying, hey, Get your shit together and do better because you're getting your shit kicked in by, by these games guys. Like and we the, want yeah, you to yeah. do better and give us the product you're supposed to give us. Instead, you give us garbage like this. Yeah. And that's what you maybe the actual creatives need to stand up and start stop getting rolled on by these companies that take advantage of them, bro. Give us and we're, oh, no, we're not going to take it anymore. That's you. Did people miss this whole thing that you have to be the change you want to see in an industry or the saying goes so what happened to that great that's fantastic it is a heroic flex it's great because it is pro-consumer in every way that big company i will never again lose to my i get that and i do get a lot of the pro-consumer thing because it's like it's like what's been happening in gaming is you think you're paying for one thing and you're getting another thing and to me that harms the consumer the actual creatives on the team anyways and that's really it because everyone above that wins so it's like imagine it really is that that th this credit to kyle for this thing it's really like going to a restaurant and paying for food that you think you're going to get and they bring it out to you burnt or they bring you out something else and be like no sorry like you're not a chef you you don't even know what you like we know what you like all this and it's like weird it's a weird mindset that is happening man and it's just like, no, like if you, I don't know, man, it's weird. And I'm doing the whole thing where I'm saying it's weird, but I know it's about control. And I know above, above the creatives, it's about greed. So it's like, but it still starts with the consumer. So this is actually a W for the consumers saying like, this is what we actually want. You see where the money's flowing. So maybe things will finally flip for the better. I've always seen the, the better outcome. So I'm not like... What do they call it? A doomer where it's like, oh, everything's just going to fall apart. Ah, I feel like everything can flip. So why not? Who, who doesn't want to see the brighter side of things? I freezed it. Whoops. Ain't untouched. 
fine, whatever, let them. And the affected ones by this mass glorification of plagiarism will be actual creatives instead. You know what? You're a pussy. You know why? Because you went ahead and blocked who can go ahead and reply to your actual tweet. But you still kept going because we know you're a fucking pussy. But then he continues Man, saying he's going in. But what's so weird about that is like, dude, it's like, uh, no, I'm not going to say it. Let's just go. People really just want any excuse to feel good in their support for plagiarism, because the more it's justified, the more they can keep devaluing art of any sort. We'll see where this kind of behavior, attitude, and message goes. But then this is how you know arguments and everything in the world can literally be argued and be looked at from different perspectives. How are like the new, how you know how people are side by side comparing the pals to other, to the like original Pokemon? How would someone who's an artist, say like the actual creatives who design the Pokemon, not feel honored that someone wanted to base their creatures in their game off of their original work? Like imagine someone who created the first light bulb. There's all conspiracies behind that, but the 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 first like the light bulb is now seeing things with like LEDs and stuff now. That mofo would probably be like, oh, "Y'all went off in today's day and age." It's like weird. I, uh, I don't know. As artists and creatives keep suffering, nobody cares about your suffering. Nobody. You know what this is? This is the streamer entitlement syndrome. That's what this is. This is, mm. you guys, you guys, you don't know how hard I have it as a streamer. I got to sit on camera under these hot lights for eight hours a day and stream video games and laugh and chat and have fun. You don't know the stress I have, what mm. I have to deal with, dealing with all of these... Uh, things that come my way like 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 emails while that person who's watching that streamer is doing literal backbreaking labor that's what this screams of that is this crying right here mm. nobody gives a fuck about how you feel people just want to know that you can make good art but at the same time we're not throwing false accusations at power world because you're mad or upset for whatever particular reason so normalization of theft and plagiarism of this scale is unacceptable on so many levels do you have proof that they plagiarized or are you just saying this because their similar styles of art and character true because i'll say that too it could come out that they did completely plagiarize or something along the lines and then uh yeah i mean that's why i don't take a hard stance in what it is but in everything that's going on because then it's like you know you'll end up looking dumb but this but how world is serving an example for like bringing these people out of the dark into the light of how they really feel about things and also showing how people hop on something immediately. That rock steady, rock steady, right? And Naughty Dog senior dev or whatever, that's crazy because is The Last of Us under Naughty Dog? Like, like someone like that coming out and saying this is exposing a bit of what you can see, like the mindsets in the industry. And I, there's no way that like a company like Nintendo would ever sit there and try to copy someone else's work. And I was going to say this. I brought something up about Digimon. Look at Dragon. Wow. Dragon Quest in Pokemon. Say, oh, yeah, this is ours. I mean, there, and there's wow. no way that Nintendo would have just been like, oh, why would we ever just put our game on a service so we can just take the ROM that we found on the internet and then put it on our service and provide it to you too. And then just go ahead and say, hey, yeah, uh, you're just gonna keep the actual notations in the code from the actual ROM dump and just wow. realize that everybody knows that you just went ahead and just took ROMs and put them on your, there's no way Nintendo would ever do that. Right? There's no way. There's no way. Wow. There's no way. No way that they would they would copy styles of artwork or, or just steal their own product and use that to sell it back to you. And then to make matters worse, he is in fact an illustrator and character designer. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. The people who are actually angry about this thing are the ones that are. Uh, but the character designs of Hellion White look so dope scared about AI and AI artwork in the first place instead of actually just embracing it because there is no way around it. They're going to have to embrace it or they're going to fall off. So it's time to embrace it, my boy.
And if you wouldn't <laughs> believe it, if I didn't show it to you live, Nintendo literally tweeted out the 21st. That's right, yesterday of the day of this recording. Did you catch that? Explore some hidden details within. Uh, I don't think there are any details here. There's there's literally z zero there's zero details. What what details did, did we catch? And then uh, prepare to get uh, ratioed, outdone by an indie team because you insist on staying behind. It's just going to keep happening as long as you keep choosing to act like it's 2002. The whole world is playing Power World. Get ratioed, my boy. Is this game from 2003? Why would you tweet this now? Power World better. Every masterpiece has its cheap copy. Lil bro, we have some bad news. Y'all are finally getting collectively roasted for low end effort and I love to see it. Step it up. Pa exactly. Yeah. Our world is fire. LOL, I love Pokemon and grew up with it. That's why I say this. Step up your game. Power world is everything you should have done years ago and, <sighs> and more. Still fighting hidden details. I couldn't tell with the graphics. Jeez. Sorry, did you say something? We were busy playing peak. <laughs> oh my god, the cooking that is happening right now. But here's the thing about all of this. Is Power World using AI art? I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah. Are they using stolen art pieces from Nintendo? I don't know. I'm not going to make that judgment call. It's not my place. It's whether or not they're going to admit it or whether or not this goes to court or what have you. The thing is this though. I've shown that Nintendo has literally done the exact same thing that so many other people are in fact claiming Power World has done with zero evidence and they're running by it and sticking by it for whatever particular reason. There's no evidence that Power World has used AI and I'm going to give you a quick hot take on this. If they did use AI, what's the difference? What's the matter? Why would it be an issue? What is them using AI do to- Hey, I'm here to- Ugh. Literally nothing. You didn't work on the game, did you? No, you did. You didn't lose your job because of that game being developed with AI. No, you didn't. You're on Twitter using your moral grandstanding, your moral high horse, because you're angry that somebody else got their game out, got the idea done that you didn't have that they are now being successful with. And let's not even- The ad right there, he was just cooking up. So it just broke up the consistency for me. And I was, damn. Even go to the fact that at the same time of all this actually happening, the community manager of Power World is going through as many DMs as he possibly can, and then also getting massive amounts of death threats. So, congratulations, y'all of the scumbags. And that's my entire point of this. People are so angry and upset about a developer possibly using tools that can make game development easier because they didn't work as hard as you did or did what you have to do to get the same kind of recognition in the first place or even more recognition or turns out you're getting less recognition, which is really funny in my opinion. But this is merely nothing more than just main character syndrome, and I'm going to continue to call it out as such. I'm going to start playing Power World tonight because I'm sure it's going to be quite an enjoyable experience, and I'll keep that going on. But the thing is this, if you're angry and upset that somebody else got to the base before you did, maybe you should step your game up instead. Instead of trying to sit there and be in the past and not use those tools that are available to you, you're the same kind of person trying to build a house with only a worn out hammer and a screwdriver that's a flathead when you need a Phillips. So instead of just complaining about someone else is using better tools, why don't you also get those same tools so you can build what you need to do better, faster, and more efficiently. That way you can put out the product that you know you can put out and be better about the game design that you want to do. But instead, you're going to sit here and bitch on Twitter because that's always easier, isn't it? Yeah, being a moral high horse and talking from your fucking ivory tower is a lot easier than getting down with your elbows in the dirt and getting to work. Everybody wants to be a bodybuilder, but nobody wants to lift no heavy ass weights. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like today's I, video, I thank you if you didn't like it. I mess with that. The only thing I was saying for that other point is I could see the perspective of like the creative integrity, integrity that people want to protect. I can see that side. So I'm not going to immediately just completely rail and drive over these people who are saying that part, but where they go and immediately ruin that is by continuously talking and exposing themselves. I agree with mostly what he said at the end there. I mean, I mean, I feel like I, I don't like since it's like my field that my field that I'm in, I guess, are really educated on and just in my own experiences, not just literally researching so much into so many different philosophical concepts and the soul and everything. I don't like when people throw around heart and soul so much because you cannot tell. You can't say for sure what heart and soul has been put into anything. Even if someone is doing content that to you may seem lazy, which this is the argument here with AI being like a lazy way to go about the development. 
it's like, well, even with someone who's making videos, that person can consider that they're putting in a lot of work. If you're over in your corner putting in a lot of work, then just let it show. And if this person over here is really feeling like they're putting their heart and soul into what they create, and that is like their peak, but they're still getting success, you can't be mad at them. They're not mad at you. I didn't hear the Craftopia and these devs. And I don't know if there's anything that would come out like this, but I'm saying from as I know now, my current state of consciousness and what I know from all of this, you can't be mad. You can't be mad at what, you know, they're not coming out talking about any other game. And again, like he said too, that's why I haven't made any definite claims. I don't know if they used AI or anything like that. When you play the game, it feels fun. Simple as that. It feels fun. It's survival. I love survival. I love the fact that it did take many. I've I've said this. I don't know if it, if I've said this in uh, game reaction trailers that I've done in the past. I think it's a genius idea to mend together open world, survival, all that types of aspects and throw it all together and make more games that are like that. And especially for the consoles. I feel like there's a lot of survival games on PC, but this takes aspects of all of it and slaps it together. And I feel like consoles need that experience. I mean, like depend depending on the type of game, like a Spider-Man game isn't gonna be that. It's gonna be a more hero for focus action game. But for the genre that Power World is trying to step into, they did it really good. I can't even say it's that bad. I don't know if I'll ever do a Power World's review, but I will definitely still upload like maybe commentary videos of me just with the gameplay in the background or just it's it's a good it's fun it's fun i've i've enjoyed it i literally laugh at the cute little animals helping you build stuff that they have work conditions and everything it's just it feels like they're if you're someone who's going to talk about heart and soul and feeling like there's heart put into a game then when you play this it feels like that so maybe stop throwing around heart and soul not going to tell anyone what they can and can't do and what they can and can't say, but stop acting like you know what heart and soul goes in. If you're a real designer and an artist, then I'm not even going to make that claim because then you, you can argue that. But I'm just saying, like, I feel this way about being a dance artist since I'm a dancer, too. It's like I always tell everyone, like, like freestyle, since my style is freestyle, your dance is really subjective on what style you like and don't like, even if your style is not similar it doesn't go with the norm it's still you got the power to stand up and be an artist and show your moves and there are dance styles where they deliberately copy other people's moves or whatever or take from and improve on their own style it's like that's what power world is it's like this this can literally be applied to everything in life so it's just funny i just feel like if you're true creative and artist you understand the integrity of things being at the core that's why i don't attack that because you know you you know but then that should make you want to step up your game anyways. And even if you're good enough, people will not forget you as the legend or blah, blah, blah. You see the big names like Michael Jackson, all of this, or all these big names that have existed. You've noticed that people let them have their flowers. They will they will literally say there will never be another this. So that's how Worlds is trying to be its own thing. And it's like Pokemon has its flowers. No one is denying that Pokemon is not fire or the designs in the game, since it's a lot of graphic artists coming out. No one is saying, they're almost acting like they designed the, the animals, which is interesting. I don't know. That's why I said I can't 100% not understand where they're coming from. I get it. Because, yeah, but again, it does come down to that then. Rather talk with your actions and how skilled you are and step up your game rather than sit and complain someone else's success because that just leaves a weird taste in people's mouths and even my, my own mouth so i don't know you know you don't see me sitting here getting mad about i don't know just i don't know you could really say anything all right i'm out peace